circulation in human beings the human heart is a muscular organ which pumps blood the human heart has four chambers namely right atrium right ventricle left atrium left ventricle the valves between the atria and ventricles ensure that the blood does not flow backwards let's see the working of human heart when muscles of the right atrium are relaxed the right atrium receives deoxygenated blood collected from different organs of the body via large veins called vena cava the right atrium contracts and right ventricle gets filled with deoxygenated blood the right ventricle contracts the deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle enters the lungs through the pulmonary artery for oxygenation in lungs exchange of gases takes place the deoxygenated blood gets converted to oxygenated blood oxygen is absorbed in the blood and carbon dioxide from the blood is given out when muscles of the left atrium are relaxed the left atrium receives oxygen rich blood from the lungs simultaneously through the four pulmonary veins the left atrium contracts and left ventricle gets filled with oxygenated blood the left ventricle contracts the oxygenated blood from the left ventricle is pumped out to all parts of the body through aorta the largest artery the contraction and relaxation of atria and ventricles there is a network of arteries and veins throughout the body arteries carry blood away from the heart and have to tolerate the force exerted by the blood which is under high pressure exerted by the heart the walls of the arteries are thick and elastic on reaching the tissues arteries divide and redivide into smaller and smaller vessels called capillaries to bring the blood in contact with individual cells exchange of material between the blood and the surrounding cells takes place across the thin walls of the capillaries the capillaries join together to form veins which take the blood away from the organ but towards the heart veins collect the blood from different parts of the body and bring it back to the heart they have valves to prevent the backward flow of blood this is how blood circulation happens in human beings